take a deep breath be in the light draw it into your center lighten up the seven chakras on the way down the one that sits on your crown opening your third eye as blue as the sky and you throw it the sun, all the earth and your heart whatever one you feel is better you can place the sun at your pineal gland orange in your tummy I tend to think of it as an orange as the energy captured from the sun and the minerals of the earth and you can actually use it in clay pots with a copper lining and an iron shaft in the centre of it and it will produce electricity now down into the tummy I tend to see this as a watery blue sphere it's up to you however some people tend to see it as a flame which is right at the base which of course grows and illuminates again once upwards and back to the light you can of course take this channel and again pass it down through your third eye pineal gland down your spine so you radiate your skeleton and send this cone like down into the center of the earth where there is again an eternal fire of life as above so below I want to discuss the dead man walking his name is Hermes or Thoth thrice born he has shown us a way to free ourselves from a physicality of lies now that we know the truth and I hope that you have looked at our ancestral records, our pyramids, Atlantis and of course our Bible also the books that were not included in the Bible I hope that you are as open minded as you can be and see that death is merely darkness and you are the light, you can defeat it there is no need for death also I hope you can see that Satan is heat, he's a red mist so if you feel evil pulse blue, be the sea it washes anger away now um, I thought I was discussing a place called Amenti which he says is a city beneath the earth and it sounds like a multi-dimensional city and it sounds also inhabited by multi-dimensional beings and um, chambers as well now I'm going to say to you that we are atoms we are atomic we are made from vibrating elements which have a particular dance a cycle and again as above so below as you see our solar system and beyond the constellations galaxies that is what you are within your own body Our DNA is our electrical circuitry which connects us to everything. If you wish you can be a pulsing light or a mist and send it in all directions around you, above, below, within, without, on your left and on your right and see it in everybody else around you as well. 
There are, of course, Brothers of the Darkness, those who are made of light. However, they veil themselves in the darkness because, you see, we are born of the darkness. And the darkness is light in a veil. And once darkness recognizes that it is light, it will become light. And this is a great battle. Also, the fear of nuclear warfare is a real threat. But as materialization can occur, so can dematerialization. I think that I have shown that. There are secret places in every country, in every continent, all over the world. And all you have to do is look at your earth, at the places where you seldom go to. And you will find communities that are safe and economical to live in. Where the housing is above and below the ground. Because if, also if you look at ancient architecture, you will find light bulbs that emit for ions and they don't seem complicatedly made. You must further study Tesla's work and I would say to you that providing work for men, creating the ele free electrical generator that Tesla invented would be a very successful first step and very appreciated by the people. Again, your fear of nuclear war, I have stated antimatter and matter. Look at his atomic projection weapon. It has been suggested that Mercury is used and it is an element of the kings because it is liquid, but upon hitting a certain temperature, it will become like a bullet and would utterly shatter anything in its path. And it could be <coughs> directly connected to the creation, the creation of the pylons of the electricity which is garnered from the earth itself and hence free. Transportation is going to change as these stations will also be able to target rays of atomic energy and we will once again look at the ancient aircraft that have been left behind and see how economical they are to build and uh, the, the energy is free and basically you regenerate as you hover over one of these pylons. It's such a fantastic idea and absolutely ludicrous that, that it has not been carried out till this date. People have many, many talents and they're not been allowed to express them. The only sort of work that's been offered to them is work that diminishes them, diminishes their, their full potential. And that is truly a shame. Education also boxes people in. They can only look at one certain subject or two maybe at the most and then they do a degree and they've not got a job to actually do the, this love of their life like the geologist girl who had to work in at a pound store and she absolutely loved the subject she was working in a museum for free and yet you know it was a prevention of her, of her natural ability how ludicrous <coughs> Working knowledge it should be freely given. The tools that are required freely made available. So I suggest that you take all your weapons and beat them into ploughs and spades and you know the routine. Also we are very very competent at redirecting water. 
I suggest we use this talent. The poor Africans. There's absolutely no need for it. Um, if you actually are willing to look at the world, look at her. She's absolutely beautiful. There is very economical ways of living. If you look at my previous videos, I will show you. They, they are on it. And these areas you fill with cereal fields and your cattle and your fish stock, of course. But there has to be a respect for all of the aspects of the creation of God. Also, there are beings who are mutilating cattle to remove their reproductive systems for genetic experimentation and do not be surprised if in the future you see some rather strange hybrids of animal and human. This will be horrific to us and it will be horrific to the creatures that are created as well. However, this knowledge can be used to create fruits and vegetables that have vitamins and grow larger, are more nutritious, are better for our heart. Nevertheless, we have to be very highly competent and aware of what it is we are actually trying to achieve. And a bit less clinical, you have to associate all of the energies within the creation. So your fire, water, earth and air of course. The spirit however must be considered as well. And the spirit can be drawn astrologically from a specific star sign or star. And also be aware that there are Pleiadians and Assyrians, there are aliens around about us who are bigger and more knowledgeable and do portray themselves as gods. However, your defence against that is your right to be a replication of God upon this earth and therefore you're a slave to no one. You do not have to justify it. You are a light and again darkness cannot overcome you unless you wish to be one of the dark, of course. But I can assure you, your light will shine one of the brightest when you come out of your darkness. Um, I'm going to take a wee break now and I'll speak to you again later. Thank you for listening to me. Goodbye.